Welcome back, Learner of Java. Today we're talking about integer division, modulo, and type conversions. Please hit that like button to help spread the word about our channel. So let's take a look at two quick division equations right away that are just using integers. And we're also going to set the variable x to 15 because this is programming and we like setting variables. So here's an example of two different lines being printed that just shows the division of five and the division by four. And note that this second one isn't above. We're going to run this and you'll see why I had to put that. 15 divided by 5 equals 3, but 15 divided by 4 does not equal 3, but it shows that it does, and this is not a bug. As you may know, uh, what, what we just said is true. Now, <laughs> 15 divided by 4 does not equal 3, but because only integers were used, the end of it was truncated, which just means they got rid of the, the decimal point and the numbers after the decimal, and they just gave you that first whole number. So, how do we get the missing fraction part back? How do we get that missing decimal point? That's where actually the modulo comes in. Modulo is just the percent sign and that will give you the remainder. So let's show you how this works. And you can see here when we do modulo four, you get a three. So percent sign is modulo, modulo three. And then this, of course, when you add these together by multiplying this first statement in reverse and then adding the three that you get from the remainder, you're actually going to get back to 15 and I'll show you what that looks like right here and boom multiply and add to get to 15 so that is how you can get the actual full number back but there is other ways in order to get the entire number but we were just talking about modulo right there and so now you can see why that's useful or if you don't see why that's useful yet you'll you'll trust me you'll <laughs> you'll be using that for anything that a remainder would be used for and I have uh, in the comprehension check at the end of this video you'll be able to use that yourself and you'll see why that's important so if you do want it to be more precise and not truncated we just need to convert the equation into a floating point type equation which just means basically we need to make it into a double there's two ways to do that there's the first way which which is implicit and then there's the second way which is explicit the first way says let's just put a point oh after the four and the program now knows okay so this whole thing needs to be a double because this other thing is a double it was just a double an integer, it'd be kind of confusing, right? So Java smart, it knows you want a whole thing. Now you could also explicitly say, I need this to be a double and you could put this in front of the X. You could put this in front of the four. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure it's in front of one of the numbers slash variables. And now let's take a look at what it's going to print out. And you can see 3.75, 3.75. Now that looks a lot more correct if you ask me. So in this case, you wouldn't need to use modulo because the double has already taken care of the remainder and just tacked it on there. And it's nice and it's pretty. And yes, and just to reiterate what I said, to convert it implicitly, just make sure at least one number in the equation is already a double, aka it has a decimal point. And to convert it explicitly, type parentheses double in front of a number very important two things to note you could typecast other variable types as well like integer so i could have put int in here though that would have been pretty pointless i could put in in front of this double right here and this would have made this integer division and number two typecasting after an equation is solved is not the way to go and i think i have an example here that you really need to see so here's an example of that and we have the system dot print line explicitly correct and then this is the correct way to do it as you can see it's exactly the same as the one above and then explicitly incorrect and notice the double is outside of the parentheses entire equation so this isn't saying i want x to be a double this is saying i want the answer of x divided by four to be a double so i bet you can guess what this is going to look like but just in case 3.0 is what it would come out with and now why is that well it's just taking the integer remember x divided by four when it's an integer it just gives you three and then it's saying, okay, well, this integer, I kind of want it to have a 0 0.0 at the end, and that's what it does. And you get a really awkward, incorrect number. This is a very common place for beginners to make a mistake. And uh, so just be aware that you need to put it in front of the numbers. And like I say, they're nearly identical, but they give different results. So just make sure you typecast the number variable in the equation and to avoid that mistake. Now, it's time for a comprehension check. Let's see if you get what I am putting down. And if not, make sure to rewind the video. Here is the first of the two questions. I want you to find and fix the errors. Number one, students are evenly divided among buses. All students ride a bus. And if there's a remainder, you should probably give them a bus. So we're gonna set the integer of students equal to 27 and the integer buses to two. This is a very small school, I don't know. System.out.print. The most amount of students on a single bus is, and then we have print line, students divided by buses 
period. Fix this and make this make sense. And number two, a teacher is calculating the exact average grade on her last test. So the exact average. Exact. The first line is an array, and we'll learn about those later. Do not worry about this line right here. Just know that this basically says here's a list of scores. I just want to show you a sneak peek at those because I love these. This adds those scores. Now, I'm not, uh, this isn't an array video, so I won't get too much into it, but this is saying uh, add 95 to 92 to 85. I know that it's just a really fancy way of doing it. System.out.print line, the exact average is plus the sum of scores divided by three. Both of these lines have errors. Fix them and come back in five seconds after you pause the video and solve it. Let me know in the comments and then unpause it to see if you got it right. All right, five seconds to pass. So let's take a look at the answer. So in the first one, we just need to add the remainder with modulo. So system.print, the most amount of students on a single bus is, well, print line student divided by buses plus student modulo buses. And let's see what that's going to look like. And you can see before it was 13, but now it is 14. And then you can see the exact average. I should have ran this before I sent you guys off. I apologize. The exact average on the second question shows 90, which is not exact. So answer two, type cast a variable or number to a double. So system.out.println, the exact average is double. We are typecasting sum of scores divided by three. And believe it or not, that's all you need to do. Run it and boom, 90.6666. Seven. And as you can see, this is absolutely an exact number. Well, to the, for the most part, this probably goes off into infinity, but we'll, we'll, we'll pretend that's an exact number. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it. So check out the playlist to learn more Java. Help us conquer the YouTube algorithm by liking the video. If you would, I'd appreciate that. And before you go, I did want to show you that we're just going to move this double. And we're going to put it over by this three. And I'm going to run this one more time. And you're going to see it still comes out the same. Now, if you accidentally made the error, the world-class error that many, many make, and you put these in parentheses, and then you went like this, and you put the double in front, this is going to give you 90.0. This is not the business. You do not want to do that. You will not pass go. You will land on free parking, and nothing will come of it because we're following the real Monopoly rules in this weird, very tangential, uh, tangent, whatever. Just All right, check out my other videos. Bye.